In Reflection Relay, there are two things that the participants need to know about light. Number one, light travels in straight lines. And number two, when light strikes a flat reflective surface, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. There are two parts to Reflection Relay. In part one, the students hold the mirrors to reflect a beam of light off of four mirrors in order to hit a target. There are three students holding three mirrors and one mirror is mounted on the wall. The materials that will be provided are a maglev flashlight that will be focused into a small bright beam of light. It will be mounted on a stand that will hold the flashlight parallel to the floor. There will be four mirrors. There'll be a large protractor, approximately 80 centimeters radius, with zero in the center. There'll be a red and green circle target, approximately 12 inches in diameter. And we'll be working in a classroom-sized room with furniture, which will provide obstacles for the students. Students must use my mirrors. They may use any other materials they'd like to bring, although no materials are recommended. They may not bring their own light source. The permanent mirror should be placed on the wall the same height as the light source. It can be used at any time during the course of passing the beam of light. However, it is usually used as either mirror number two or three. An enlarged protractor is placed below the permanent mirror. Students can use the protractor to estimate where the beam of light will be reflected so the student will know approximately where to stand. No part of the student's body may be any closer to the mirror than the edge of this protractor. Students may lean on the furniture, however it is not recommended that you practice this. You don't know what furniture will be in the room or if it will be usable to lean on. Since a tie is unlikely, students should concentrate on being accurate in their planning rather than being quick. The team should select a leader to let me know when they are ready. The stopwatch will start when the flashlight is turned on, not when the room lights are turned out. The stopwatch will stop when the beam of light is on the target for at least three seconds. If the beam of light goes off the target, I'll stop counting and start over again once the beam of light is back onto the target. The beam of light must hit all four mirrors or I won't stop the stopwatch. I'll warn the team that they haven't used all four mirrors. There will be a red target challenge and then a green target challenge using the same protractor and permanent mirror. The light source will be moved. The maximum score for each challenge is 120, or two minutes. If they haven't accomplished the task in that time, they will be stopped. In Reflection Relay, low score is best. Part two of Reflection Relay is a paper and pencil test in which the students will have no more than 10 minutes to solve five Reflection Relay sheets, figuring out which mirrors will be used in order to hit the target. The students need to bring their own materials for this part of the event. Suggested materials are small protractors, straight edges, and pencils. Students trace the path that the light will travel, figuring out which mirrors are used to hit the target. There could be any number of mirrors used to hit the target. The path of light is designed to hit the center of the mirror. If the student's line is off by a degree or two, it may not hit the mirror in the center and thus get them off track for future mirrors. The students should make the corrections at each mirror to make sure it's hitting in the center. I won't be checking the lines that they draw. I will check the letters of the mirrors written in the box at the bottom of the page. The letters must be in the correct order. The page is either right or wrong. No partial credit will be given. For every page that is done correctly, one second will be subtracted from the part one score. The final score for Reflection Relay is determined by adding the red and the green course scores from part one and subtracting the number of correct pages in part two. Final scores range from one to 240.